Hey guys, welcome back to the magnificent world of RL Craft. Because of a few suggestions, I have decided to make a video on the best armor in all of RL Craft. Now, if you update the Ice and Fire, Dragons in a New Light, and the Spartan Fire mod, then the best armor is obviously Dragon Steel. But if you play on default RL Craft, the best armor in terms of protection is the Golem set, except for the chest plate which would be dragon. Full dragon works perfectly fine though, and to be honest, full diamond works perfectly well as well. What really makes or breaks an armor set in RL Craft is the enchantments. A player will get one shot by players and many things in the game, even in full golem or dragon armor that is unenchanted. But the moment your armor has the enchantments I will describe in this video, you will be completely unkillable. Anyways, I will be describing all the enchantments that all four of these armor parts have in common. Then I will describe each max armor piece's unique enchantments one by one, starting with the helm and working my way down to the boots. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All four pieces of equipment have these enchantments in common. Advanced Protection 4, Advanced Thorns 3, Unbreaking 3, and Advanced Mending. I usually put Burning Thorns 3 on my chestplate or helm though, just so that enemies get set on fire and freak out when they hit your vitals. Now on to detailing what these enchantments are and what they do. Advanced Protection 4. All other protection enchantments pale in comparison to Protection 4, let alone Advanced Protection 4. Advanced Protection 4 in RL Craft will make you take practically no damage from everything besides bosses. Advanced Thorns 3. This enchantment will make enemies take insane amounts of damage when they hit you. Now you can go AFK without worrying about anything, including dragons. Everything will die just from attacking you for long enough. Unbreaking 3. This will make your gear lose durability slower so that your gear will have less a chance of breaking. Advanced Mending. This will allow your armor to heal using a bit of XP from your journeys. With these four enchantments alone, you are pretty much unkillable and you no longer need to worry about your armor breaking. But by using the supporting enchantments I'm about to describe as well, you will become even more overpowered. For your helm, you will also want to use the enchantments Respiration 3 and Aqua Affinity. Respiration 3 will allow you to stay underwater much longer before drowning and the enchantment aqua affinity will allow you to mine underwater considerably faster. Without a stone of the sea bobble which makes you breathe underwater and swim faster, these enchantments really come in handy. Next, we move on to your chest plate. For this piece of armor, you will want the enchantments Inner Berserk 4 and Strength and Vitality 5. Inner Berserk makes you do increased damage depending on how low your HP gets. This enchantment isn't very useful on a max set of gear because of you almost taking no damage, but a fun tip is taking off your armor and baubles really fast and putting them back on while in a safe place in combat to allow yourself to do more damage with Inner Berserk. Strengthen Vitality 5. This enchantment allows you to have much more base hearts. At tier 5 you will get nearly 11 extra heart containers. This single enchantment is incredibly powerful and a necessity for any god set of armor. Now we move on to the pants. You will want the enchantments Agility 2 and Evasion 3 on your pants. Agility 2 will allow you to run and swim noticeably faster. Speed in RL Craft is insanely helpful. And Evasion 3. This enchantment gives you a chance to evade enemy attacks completely. You will jump out of the way of the damage every time the enchantment procs, and this enchantment procs rather a lot. I used to hate this jump animation though, so I never used to use this enchantment, but now it has grown on me. It is a very powerful enchantment, despite being sometimes annoying. Now, last but not least, the boots. On the boots you will have to add on a couple interesting enchantments. Depth Strider 3, High Jump 2, Advanced Feather Falling 4, and Lightweight 3. High Jump and Lightweight 3 do not stack jump effects though, so High Jump 2 is only on your boots just so that they look more OP. Lightweight 3 is all you need though for the small jump boost, but Lightweight also decreases fall damage so it is better than High Jump. Technically you can also add on one of the enchantments Magma Walker or Frost Walker if you so choose as well. Magma Walker will allow you to walk on lava by turning lava to magma blocks, and Frost Walker will allow you to walk on water by temporarily turning the water to ice. You sometimes need to drink water or swim in lava though, so I avoid these enchantments as much as possible for convenience. Anyways, the enchantments. Depth Strider 3. This enchantment allows you to swim much faster. 
You can use Underwater Strider as well if you want, but this enchantment only works if you are completely submerged underwater or underground. I suppose if you don't like moving super fast through a buck of water you place down, you can use Underwater Strider 3, but I like moving fast without being completely underwater, so I much prefer Depth Strider. They both give you the same speed boost through water as well, so truly Depth Strider is more flexible. High Jump 2. This enchantment allows the user to simply jump higher. Advanced Feather Falling 4. This allows the user to take much less fall damage. Feather Falling on its own is useful, but with Advanced Feather Falling 4 you pretty much never take any fall damage, even from hundreds upon hundreds of blocks in the air if you increase your athletics in the L menu. And lastly, Lightweight 3. This enchantment allows the user to jump higher and allows you to fall further without taking fall damage. And remember, you can always put upgraded potentials on the armor pieces as well, so that the items look even more OP. Because, let's face it, boots with 10 enchantments on it is quite the flex. You can get all of these armor enchantments from librarian trading or dungeon crawling, but our Relcraft is still quite the grind. Knowing the best enchantments is nice and all, but acquiring them is the hard part. But I know you can do it, oh brave wanderer. With that, I am going to wrap up. I hope you got some useful knowledge out of this video and that you now will be even more protected when going out on your adventures. Stay safe and take care. Bye bye now.